Here's my second video, uh, a little more deep dive into Tesla's full self-driving beta. Thanks again to Brandon and the Tesla owner Silicon Valley folks for uh, getting me some videos to analyze. Here we go. Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you'd press that little like button. If you're thinking of buying a Tesla, please use my referral code, Nicholas4590. So I wanted to uh, analyze the uh, videos uh, that are out on the Tesla full self-driving beta. So we'll start with this one. Uh, first notice that all the edge, uh, well, first of all, the key thing here is that uh, Tesla has created a bird's eye view of the world from the cameras. It's very, very cool. So all, all they have, are the eight cameras on the car and they've created this world uh, that represents without uh, maps other than the general uh, mapping. Uh, but I believe most of this information is coming through the cameras. So the uh, line uh, road lines are white. The road dividers of side of road is seems to be yellow. Edges are all red. Uh, the car in front of you is identified as green and they're using a, currently a box around it. Now, from previous videos, we learned that uh, it knows the speed of that car, the distance to that car, and it identifies the car as being a problem uh, or it's in its path, things like that. So I think they've turned those into just colors. We'll see different color cars. Um, but notice how it, it can see and understand uh, the road uh, uh, on the edges here on the side. Now, those are dotted lines, so I'm wondering whether it's just predicting those versus the uh, lines here, which are solid red, that it might uh, confirm through vision. So uh, let's, just con let's just start this up here. And you'll see uh, that the car... Uh, the, there's a dotted blue line which identifies the path that we are traveling. I assume the person put in navigation to some location and uh, the you'll see this uh, blue line go white occasionally will identify that. Now let me stop it here. Notice how it's identifying various cars. I think these cars are in a parking lot and uh, I believe red means uh, that it's off uh, the road uh, and not uh, a problem. Um, we're going to see different color boxes around the cars as we go. Let's see what happens here if we see anything. Again, some more cars. Now notice this car here is blue. I'm starting to think that blue is that it could be coming into our path, uh, but it doesn't seem to uh, mind that. Uh, there was a yellow car there for a second. And now watch this car here as it goes off to the uh, off the road into, I think, a parking lot here. It goes from green, I believe, to, let's see, uh, a purple, uh, and then it goes uh, pink, uh, and then back to blue. This one just went yellow and we're going along fine. And let's see if anything else happens here. Go through an intersection. Okay, now this is very interesting. Look at how many objects it has identified, again, from a bird's eye view. So again, the cameras are down uh, at the camera level, but it's seeing so many different objects and identifying them. They're all red, which means I guess that uh, they're in close proximity uh, to our path, but not uh, uh, currently a problem, perhaps uh, meaning that they are stationary. And uh, as we make the turn, uh, notice that it's picking up uh, more edges of the road. It now sort of sees there must be a line in the road to identify an upcoming area to uh, divide the road, and we're going to be making a right-hand turn here. Now, look at this. It is from this uh, position 
identifying all kinds of lane lines in a highway. Uh, I think the purple here is a uh, divider. Um, and then even lane lines on the other side and the edge on the other side. So uh, it is picking up a wealth of information here uh, about this road. And as we get closer, it uh, identifies them better. Okay, now we have a roundabout. Uh, notice the purple here for the roundabout. It identifies the roundabout and it identifies here, you know, clearly the uh, drivable path, the black path there. Uh, and we'll see how it uh, tries to predict its path. So it's using either a white or a blue line to identify the predicted path that it wants to travel. There it goes blue. It seems to go white when it's not going to proceed, and then it turns blue when it uh, does start proceeding. So the uh, blue line lets it know. And here you can see it's going to have to go back to, over to here. Now, supposedly, uh, the driver here took over at the last second, maybe around here. Uh, it's a little hard to see, but uh, it might not have thought that it was going to make it. But I, I read that he th thought that uh, it actually could have done it. There's another roundabout I'll show you in a little while. Okay, so we're going down the road again. Look at all the objects it's identifying. Uh, here's the road divide, and here's the road line. Now, these lines may not be there, but it's it's uh, trying to predict a path, a road path. Now, here, look at all the li road lines really clearly identified as it comes up to an intersection. Uh, and uh, it's going to make a turn. This is the car making the turn. And it's a little hard to see here. It's a little uh, busy. But uh, again, as it makes the turn, look how much it identifies it. You know, this is just all through vision. It's it's completely understanding all the lines in the road. Uh, here's another video. Uh, I think these are garbage cans it's identifying. And this is an interesting thing. Uh, I don't believe there's this is there's no lines in this road. And I've been in this situation where the Tesla will traditionally not be able to pass a car that's parked when the road is pretty tight. And I believe that's the situation. Notice how it predicts a path to go around it a little bit. Uh, and then it comes back over to the right a little bit. Um, now, there is a line down here. I don't know whether it uh, tries to predict a line or whether there was a line in the road. We'll have to get some more video to see when it uh, predicts uh, a line. Here's a stop sign. It's identifying. It's been doing that uh, recently. Uh, now, this is real interesting. Watch this car. The car is currently white, uh, identified with a white box. And as it approaches, uh, it's in our path. Now, these uh, white dotted lines here for our path means that's where we're going to go, but we cannot proceed because uh, I guess it's identifying this. This car then goes, uh, I believe, to purple at some point. There it goes to purple. Um, and I think white must be the problem. Purple must mean it's getting out of our way. Uh, and then it goes yellow, which probably means uh, it's completely out of our path. And then watch this line here go from white to blue, I believe, when it's OK to proceed and it starts uh, going. Here we have uh, a red car. I think red cars are uh, completely stopped or parked. Uh, these cars might be moving. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, OK. Next one is a big intersection. Uh, we're at an intersection and the light, I think, just turned green. And we're going to proceed through the intersection. Uh, that car went a different color. Uh, and we're coming up to a red light. The notice uh, right there, let me just go back a touch. Uh, the road went, uh, the lot, this line went from uh, blue to white because we couldn't proceed through the intersection yet. And then uh, also notice a person, it's identifying a person here uh, or a bicycler coming across the intersection. Uh, clearly identifies people pretty well. 
Uh, bright lights too. Uh, interesting how the camera can still identify everything. And now as the light turned green, uh, our path went blue. Okay, we're at an intersection. We're gonna follow a car. Uh, it looks like yeah, uh, green is a safe car to follow. Uh, when you think about it, if you do have a car in front of you, uh, it is very valuable information uh, for you to be able to follow a car going through a path. Now here we have a divide. The purple seems to be the uh, road divider. Uh, and then uh, we have, look how it identified three lanes here, one, two, three, and it's planned our blue path to go to the far left lane because we're going to be making a left turn here. I believe the blinker might go on at some point here. Uh, and yep, there's the blinker. I believe it turns the blinker on automatically. Again, did you notice how our path went from blue to white because we have to stop? And then once uh, we can proceed, uh, our path goes back to blue and that's how it knows to proceed. And it can make a full turn, which is very, very cool. Again, it's identifying all the road lines very clearly. Okay, here again, uh, we have a whole bunch of objects that it's identifying, uh, and it's uh, being able to drive uh, through the intersection. Uh, puts the blinker on here, uh, and then uh, proceeds after coming to a full stop. And again, look how uh, here, uh, it identifies all the lane lines across a divide on the other side. So it's, it's fully aware of uh, the uh, vast number of six or so lanes uh, on this highway. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends. My other Model 3 videos are here in the middle. If you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game, and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.